So today's video is episode four in the New Mama series, and that is all about boob pain. Um, I have breastfed my two kids for over two years combined. Still going with baby number two. I don't know when I'm gonna wean her. She's 13 months now. Um, but I'm not a doctor. These are just my own personal feelings and things that I have been through as far as mastitis, breast pain, clogged ducts. I often say clogged, sometimes I say plugged, and sometimes I say plugged and clugged because I mix the two together. I already shot this before and I made that mistake multiple times. So just bear with me. You know I mean clogged or plugged, but if I say plugged or clugged, you know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, so there are several different um, things that might happen to you if you have a have engorgement, if you have um, a poor latch, if you have a clogged duct, or if you have mastitis, or even breast cancer. Okay, things happen in this area when you're a woman and how you react to them is going to differ depending on how severe or how mild your symptoms might be. And if you are a repeat victim of one of these, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you've had mastitis more than once and you're like, oh, and here it is again. Like the second time it happened to me, the third time it happened to me, I was like, yep, I need to call and get some antibiotics. But it might not be that. So I'm not a doctor. Again, I will say that again. You don't need to tell me. I know. I'm just going to tell you when something doesn't feel right, you're probably right. So I don't want to dedicate this whole video to a poor latch. So I'm going to pretend for the sake of this video that your baby is a perfect nurser, perfect latch. Your areola and nipple feels amazing never had a problem, everything there is good, okay? So what I'm talking about is around the boot, like the area around the nipple, I'm gonna ignore a poor latch because that will also cause breast pain, but it's kind of a different thing. So there are different things you might experience. You might feel completely fine and just have a localized, like hard pain, mild pain. You're like, okay, that's weird. Um, you may find that your boob gets really big on one side. It might be bilateral, it might be unilateral, only on one. It might be that you get a red spot and, and it starts spreading. It might be a lump under the skin. It could be warm to the touch. You could get a fever. Um, you can feel engorged or you can be like, I always pump four ounces on each side and today I can't seem to get anything out of this side. Or um, baby won't nurse on that side and I don't know why or all of a sudden, you know, there can be a many, 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 many different reasons to why you know, but like I said, mama's intuition, if it's, something's not right, you know something's not right. And let's figure out some things you can try first, but number one would be to call your doctor. I really, truly believe that because I've had mastitis and required antibiotics. Like it wasn't gonna fix itself, maybe it would have over time, but I was miserable and it hurt. So check your temp if it seems to be climbing or not going down and you already took uh, like, um, aspirin or Tylenol or whatever. You already took something and your fever's not responding or it does, but then as soon as that wears off, your fever goes back up. You might have an infection. Probably a good idea to go to your doctor. Um, number two, is it worsening really fast? Like you woke up in the morning. I had this happen to me. I took a picture at like 6 a.m. It was just this little blip, like a little pink by midday, it was like creeping up and this whole area of my boob is red. And I was like, yep, it's mastitis. I had already called my doctor, but my point is it happens quickly sometimes. And you know, the sooner you can get that call into the doc, the better. If it's like a Saturday night at 11 PM and you're like, well, I'm not going to be seen for like 36 hours anyway, you can try these other things. So tip one is massage. You should be massaging your boob, whether it's on its own, like you're just sitting there massaging, or while baby's nursing or you're pumping, if you're an exclusive pumper too. You know, is just really try to work on it. Number two is gravity is your friend. So you want to be like on all fours with it hanging down and massage downward with gravity. Um, even while baby's nursing, if you can kind of lean a little to allow it, whatever it might be clogged or mastitis, like just to try to assist it falling out. I know that sounds weird, but you got to drain that boob however you can. And if it isn't something more serious and you could fix it by simply making sure the boob is properly emptied, then why not try it before you get on medication? You know what I mean? Save you time, save you money, the inconvenience of having to drag your baby into a pharmacy or go to a doctor's appointment. Try these things, right? Okay. Number one was the massage. Number two is gravity. Number three is heat. So that could mean a hot bath, a hot shower, let the water you know, hit it. They also make soothies. They also make like a gel pack that you can put in the microwave or freeze where you can just like put it around there and oh, you know, Therma, whatever. So there's different brands. I know mine was by Lansano, it was like lavender um, and it kind of looks like a half circle 
and you can put it in the microwave for 15 seconds, lay it on your boob, and it feels really good. Nice relief. So you can try that, and then after you have your boob sufficiently heated, you can try massage and gravity. And then number, gosh, I can't even remember, five? We'll say number five, is to nurse and pump on that boob a lot. As much as you can, as much as is comfortable, as much as you're willing to, um, you know, even if it means your other side that was feeling totally fine, if you have to just like pump that side for a few minutes just to like relieve the pressure, concentrate a lot of your efforts that day on the side that's hurting. It seems counterintuitive to go where the pain is, right? You're like, boy, this side hurts. I think I'll use that a lot today. But it really does help clog a duct. The best removal of a clog is your baby's mouth. I wish it wasn't true because it hurts like a bitch. <laughs> but sometimes that's what you need to do. So, and then between nurse things, maybe your baby's sleeping for three hours and you're like, uh, no, nah, this has got to go. Nurse, 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 wake the baby up and nurse them. I very rarely will tell you to wake your sleeping baby, but that's a time when I might. Or pump, you know, or hand express. Whatever you've got to do if you don't have the supplies, please try to empty that breast as much as possible that day. And I bet you, if it's not mastitis or something more serious, it might just get better, okay? So take, give it a shot, right? Gravity, heat, massage, use it as much as possible to empty it as much as possible. So those are my quick tips, but like I said, try to get in with your doctor right away. In my case, um, mine required antibiotics, and as soon as I started taking them, I started feeling so much better. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Just remember to, you know, of course Google is gonna be there and there are gonna be all kinds of crazy scary things on the internet. So the best thing you can do is talk to your doctor. It's not like, oh my gosh, I have a, a lump under it so I must have stage something breast cancer or I must be, I'm gonna have to stop nursing if I call my doctor so I won't or uh, they're gonna tell me my baby can't, no, call your doctor and really I hope you find one, a doctor or a lactation consultant that can help you um, and makes you feel comfortable asking these questions um, because I know breastfeeding is so hard and I am now at 13 months and I know that quitting is my choice but like for some people you know if this happens and you've only been two weeks in it's like oh my gosh is this the end of my breastfeeding career you know what I mean is this the end for us it doesn't have to be just get checked out and try my tips and then of course consult your doctor and Hopefully you can figure it out, clear up that pain, and keep your baby fed and happy. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please leave your comments down below for your recommendations for this series of the new mama and pregnancy. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I think I already said that. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.